to Kathy Land. I'm Kathy. In a lot of my videos, you're going to see me using different solutions and rinses and sanitizers. And it can be very confusing. So what I want to try to do today is talk about the difference between cleaning and sanitizing. And my favorite sanitizer, Star Sand. So when you're cleaning, you're just removing gunk. So now it's clean, but would you drink out of it? No, probably not. So that's where the sanitizer comes in. It kills the germs and pathogens. This is a no rinse sanitizer. It doesn't add any taste or smell to anything. And this is important because this makes your food safe for human consumption, even for our animals. Sanitizing is very important. So common sanitizers are things like peroxide, bleach, vinegar, iodine, ammonia. These have very strong smells, very strong tastes, and can be very poisonous. These need to be rinsed and rinsed well. This is why, for a sanitizer, I like Star Sand, which is a no-rinse sanitizer. I'm not endorsed by this company. They do not pay me any money. They do not supply me with product. I happen to like it. It's my opinion. This is environmentally friendly, biodegradable, safe for your septic tank, odorless and tasteless. I use this everywhere. In the kitchen, I spray vegetables with it before I put them in the refrigerator. In the barn, I use it in the milking equipment, the milking buckets and lines. I also spray my containers that I store the milk in with the star sand. So let me show you how I make it. This is a five gallon bucket of water. I use a shot glass for measurement. I use one ounce of the concentrate in five gallons of water, stir it up, and then I store this in one gallon containers. If that's too much star sand for you to make up at one time, because it does stay good easily for two weeks, I go through this amount in seven to 10 days. So I don't have an issue with it getting old. If you want to make up one gallon at a time, take one and a quarter teaspoons of the concentrate, mix it in a gallon container, and you're good to go. So let's talk about the pH scale. The pH scale runs from zero to 14. Zero being highly acidic, like vinegar. Vinegar comes in at 2.5 on the pH scale. The alkaline side, closer to 14, bleach comes in around 12. Germs and pathogens, they cannot live in the extreme ends of the pH, being acid or alkaline. Neutral is seven, and that's where our bodies typically are, around seven-ish. So we want, in order to sanitize, we want one extreme or the other, which is why I love star sand. So this would not be Kathy Land if we didn't go out to the barn and play out there. So let's go. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video. So I'll show you how I get started. First, I've got a five gallon bucket. First thing I need to do is clean it. Believe it or not, you have to start with a clean bucket. This is the bucket that I drain the sanitizer to into every time I milk when I drain the lines. These are the containers I use to store the star sand in. They are pickle jars. I'm gonna to start to fill this. I'm going to fill the bucket with this running so it'll be a little loud. I have to wash the outside of every one of these jars. Not the inside, that's had the sanitizer in it. But I'll show you in a minute why I need to wash the outsides.
the reason I have to wash the outside is because it gets really gross from all the cleaning and splashing that happens underneath the sink. Now I'm going to pour the water that I filled in these into the bucket to help speed up the fill time. It does come in smaller quantities. I think I pay around 21, 21 and some change for this at, uh, I'll get this on Amazon, I'll give you the link. I like to use a shot glass because it takes one ounce for a five gallon bucket. Star Sand does come with this handy dandy little compartment. Try that again. Me. That if you squeeze, It fills yeah. this little part compartment here and tells you that you have an ounce. I don't know what I do wrong, but I can't make it work all the time. So I'm sure somebody can tell me what I'm doing wrong and how to do it right. So this is what I do. I take a shot glass and I fill it all the way up. So I rinse it off completely so all the star sand is in the water. I submerge them into the solution so they have to be clean. this if I went over my five gallons which it kind of looks like I did I do have a bucket over here that I suck the uh, solution up into my milking system and I'll pour the excess in there I put all the lids on this amount of sanitizer takes me seven to ten days to go through. I keep it all stored down here. And I fill that jug you just saw me fill. I also fill the spray bottle with sanitizer because it's a much easier way of using it. What I want to show you is some old sanitizer. This was from the last batch, so this is probably, I think, eight or nine year, years, eight or nine days old. So I'm going to take this pH tester, and I'm going to stick it in, first I'm going to turn it on, then I'm going to stick it in the star sand that's, I believe, eight to nine days old. And what we're looking for is a three on that alkaline on the uh, pH scale. So the lower yeah. the number, the higher the acid, the higher the number, the higher the alkaline. This is coming in at 2.54, which is well below the three. So this is, this is really quite potent. I was always told that when the water got cloudy, that meant it had lost potency. I have since, while studying for this video, yeah. found out that that is a typical trait of hard water, yeah. and I have hard water. So, but the reason I use this on, on a regular basis is because it makes sure that I'm actually using something that's effective as a sanitizer. This is great for making cheese. I bought it to make mozzarella cheese. I'll put a link below. Thank you so much for watching our Star Sand video. I would love it if you would like, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. And remember, 
you can learn anything on YouTube.